You know how the liberals say, oh, if the people just knew how many calories there were, they wouldn't eat the thing or they wouldn't eat as much. Well, it's not there that their logic is wrong. Uh, their nanny, nannyism is wrong. Making a well-informed decision is correct and logical. That's, that's the logical way to go about things. However, the fault of liberals is that they try and present knowledge without qualification. So I'm going to, I'm going to give you some information and I'm going to qualify it. I'm going to show you why this is wrong, what's good and what's wrong, right? What's good and what's bad, right? So I'm going to apply to this, something that means absolutely nothing. That is immaterial, not important whatsoever. I'm going to analyze a ratchet skank whore, right? So I notice a complete lack of awareness on the most ratchet women's part. Watching one of these court TV cases, so a black man sues for a woman to either give him the car or pay him cash for the car that they had a deal on. She had agreed that he'd take over the payments and assume the car. So that's the entire premise right there. Both acknowledged that this would be the fact. So he would take over the payments for the car, take over all the insurance, everything, the upkeep, everything, and he would get the car. The car is in both of their names. She had her uncle snatch the car when he broke up with her. She does not have insurance on the car. She can't afford it. She cannot afford to make the payments nor the insurance. He was just a boyfriend. She has three kids by other men. She is ratchet, visibly so. He is a well-groomed, well-spoken, and I made a, a video about black men stop dating ratchet black women. Stop it. So what's her defense? Quote, he can't up and leave me. Nigga, I got three kids that needs to be taken care of. She is completely unaware of her circumstances. Let's analyze this. She is trying to claim that she is being wronged by this new man. In her mind, he owes her simply because he is a man and she has kids. Where does she get this illogical notion from? TV, of course, right? TV panders to women without explanation nor reason. They promote a caricature version of love. They uncategorically place blame, hate, and all responsibility on men without qualification. Meaning, any man that comes into their life is responsible for all the wrongs in your life as a woman. This illogical story is presented over and over and over to the point you get this ratchet hoe in court saying this random man who is not married to her, does not share any children with her, should owe her something. And the judge even said he's not married to you. He doesn't have a responsibility to stay with you. You're right, your honor. He doesn't have any kids with you. He doesn't owe you anything for those kids. You're right, Your Honor. Even acknowledging that, she still continues with the defense that she has kids that nigga owes her. No one even understands why he was involved with her in on and on going basis, meaning boyfriend and girlfriend continuously more than one night. Do you, do you catch my drift? There she stands in court cursing and over talking the judge she has no defense except that she's a ratchet illogical hoe that should be a hashtag right ratchet illogical hoe while the judge renders judgment she continues to curse and over talk the judge his judgment is for the man of course and she is to surrender the car and while she's cursing and spitting and what have you he doubles the payments and the fines and even with that judgment she still doesn't you know they go to the hallway and and describe what wh what they thought of the judgment and she still doesn't even with even with the judge saying that's he's not your husband yeah i i agree he's not the father of any of your children yeah i agree she still doesn't get it and the judge can't undo what the tv has because you know this is tv this is not her mama her mama didn't train her didn't raise her this is how you take care of a man this is how you act as a as a lady you know her mama didn't do that or father maybe she came from a, a regular two-parent home we don't know we don't know why some black women go ratchet. We don't know. It's, it's like a disease, like an infection. But still, even with the judgment, even with her acknowledging that he doesn't owe 
her not one red cent and she was wrong for getting her people involved in stealing the car from him who has been making the payments, who has insurance, and who has been using the car to drive, I guess, to work, right? What else could you use a, a car for? So she is messing up his thing, right? And the judge said, I don't know, with that attitude, I don't know why he would stick around as long as he did. And you know, that goes right over her, head, over her head too. She doesn't get it. That's the analysis. It's this TV and the movies pandering to women to create a completely like absence of the time space continuum in their head. Some random guy is responsible to you. So you go and take out your frustrations because you've made a mess of your life. Ratchet just isn't dressing badly. Ratchet is being ratchet. Just having no, no, oh, she, she wants a man because he's a good looking man. And so she's going to go around with this good looking man. But what she really is trying to do is she's trying to make somebody else jealous. You know, just ratchetness, just low life stuff. She's not married to anybody. Never was. This is the analysis. And, and people say, well, I've seen upper class women act like that too. Okay, that just goes to prove exactly what I mean, that the television is, is first of all, raising these people. Maybe the upper class uh, lady wasn't actually raised by anyone. You know, the parents were kind of like my parents. They were too busy to do anything. So the maid, the butler, the chauffeur is the one that did the, the raising, or in this case, maybe the TV did the raising, and the TV says, oh, it's all his fault. Oh, I'm an angry black woman. Oh, I'm an angry white woman. Oh, I'm an angry Asian woman. I need I need to be serviced. I need my needs met. What the hell are you talking about your needs met? How about you be a good human being first? How about you put some logic into your life first? When I say pandering, that's exactly what I mean. Pandering. They pander to you, treat you like a child, and present you with things without any logic, any explanation. Saying that a man, a man, he better man up. You can't ever say he better man up because then you're trying to compare yourself with a man. And until you have a penis and you can produce life from your penis, you have absolutely no cause to compare yourself to a man. You're not a man. You have absolutely no idea. And as a side note, these women who went and got the sex change to appear to look like men, and really convincing are now saying that they want to redo the sex change operation because now they're being treated like men and it is horrible. How do you like them apples? <laughs> I would have never even thought about that. That's funny. That's funny to me. They said they, they got it bad as a woman. And then they change to a man and go, oh, hell no. This is horrible. What the hell was I thinking? But they don't realize this until such time as they step in the shoes of, of looking like a man. They're not even actually a man looking like a man. The immediate change in society as to how they are treated. How do you like them apples? Thank you for watching. Shikama Live Show.